the fragrance I'm about to share with you is supposed to evoke great feelings of vacation time, holiday season, but in a summer location. We're talking beach like, summer, sea breeze, cocktails, you know, the sun, suntan lotion, all things bright, vacation, uplifting, inspiring. You know what I'm talking about. If this sounds interesting, this is a fragrance you guys want to hear about. This is going to be Isola Blue from Roja Parfums. Guys, stay tuned. This has the potential of becoming one of the best summer fragrances of 2023. Let's hop into it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Max Forte here. If you love to make a great first impression or a lasting impression, smelling good is a great way to do that, to get it started. Of course, the way you look, the way you present yourself, the way you talk, the way you treat others, the way you make people feel plays a key role, but fragrance is definitely a great gateway into doing that great first impression, long lasting impression, if you will. Today we're gonna to talk about Roja Parfums, and when we talk about Roja Parfums, you can right off the bat know two things are true about his fragrances. Quality, quality of ingredients, and of course the presentations, which are second to none. With the uh, tops that have the beautiful Swarovski crystals from the bottles, the metal plates, so forth and so on, they are incredible. This one here, no different. We're gonna talk about Isola Blue today from Roja Parfums. The presentation is really simplistic. You have this white box, these are made in England, and this one here has the Mediterranean inspiration. So you're gonna have this location here with the sun, which to me reminds me of a location in Greece, perhaps, um, Santorini, you know, that type of stuff. So when you look at the box and the presentation, the minimalist, there's some waves in here that you can see that are reminiscent of like sunlight and uh, the, the sea waves. And the bottle itself is absolutely stunning. He wanted to do something that evokes the Mediterranean Sea, hence the fact that you have the blue cap, which is supposed to emulate the beautiful sky, uh, the blue, the clear blue skies that you have in the Mediterranean. The blue is also significant of, of the sea, you know, the sea breeze, so forth and so on. And you're gonna see some of the notes here it will definitely evoke everything I'm talking about here. But the presentation is just stunning. The metal plate here in the front with Isola Blue written in Parfum, Roja Parfums, of course, the gorgeous Swarovski crystal. These only come in 50 ml, as you see here in this video, and they retail for 485 USD. And of course, you can find these where Roja Parfum fragrance are sold. Reason why I clicked on this video, you wanted to know exactly what this fragrance smells like. I've been wearing it for about two weeks now, so I'm going to give you guys my full thoughts on this fragrance. I'm going to give a, fast, a first blast here to remind myself of the initial spray. This smells absolutely stunning. When you smell this fragrance from the get-go, you're going to again attest to the quality of ingredients and the quality of the scent. The actual, you know, blend, the actual combination of notes here are absolutely stunning. Stunning is the word that comes to mind. Uplifting, bright, playful, fruity. There is this very sunny and fruity and bright combination of citruses up top. We're talking lemon, limes, bergamots, of course, juicy bergamot. Um, Definitely there's an orange blossom kind of a feel to the fragrance and we're going to talk about that very soon as we, as we get into the heart of the fragrance. But the beginning, the initial blast is going to be a melange of citrus notes that is surrounded by this, you know, provincial lavender note or lavender absolute combination that will give warmth to the scent, making this what I like to call a citrus aromatic, a powerful citrus aromatic fragrance at that. The opening here or the first few minutes will also have an herbal undertone given by the note of thyme that will give this fragrance a leathery, spicy, herbal, green kind of a feel to the fragrance along with the lavender and the citrus notes up top. But the citrus here are going to be your hello, your greeting in the fragrance, especially in the first 10, 15 minutes or so. That brightness, that uh, almost effervescent, um, sparkly feel is what's going to greet you and, and your skin. As Raja personally described, this fragrance is supposed to give you this feeling of uh, very transportive, taking you to your favorite place, taking you to this fantasy island, if you will, uh, filled with sun and the sea and the sea breeze. Maybe you're holding a cocktail, your favorite cocktail drink. That is the kind of feel that you're gonna get here. In other words, you know, vacation, holiday, fun times, you know, entertainment, uh, just having a great time with family and friends, or maybe you're alone, but you know, definitely having a fantastic time. As you approach the heart of this fragrance, now we're talking about 25 to 30 minutes into the scent, you're going to have Champaka, which is a floral note, which adds this powdery feel, honeyed kind of a powdery feel to the fragrance. That's almost like you take orange blossom, you mix with iris, you have this orangey feel that's a little bit powdery, definitely honey-like, uh, woody kind of a facet that's a little bit spicy, a little bit powdery, very sophisticated, very inviting. Um, 
very elegant is what I want to say. This fragrance has this very elegant heart structure to the scent as you get into the heart because you have this champaka note, you have some jasmine here, floral undertones for sure, some blue, uh, there's pink pepper here which adds more structure and texture to the fragrance making it a little bit more spicy as well. Again going back to the powerful citrus aromatic, this is not your run-of-the-mill citrus fragrance. This definitely has depth, def definitely has um, development, definitely has structure. It's not going to be linear, it's not going to be uh, too ethereal, it's going to be a lasting citrus, uh, you know, aromatic kind of a scent, my kind of a citrus aromatic scent that I love to wear. The heart of this fragrance of Isola Blue also gives you a nice coconut feel, almost like a sun tan skin, like a sun tan lotion with a coconut vibe, uh, and also gives you like a tropical drink. I think there is a juniper berries here as well. Think of a tropical drink that's made with coconut. You do have the solar notes and nuances here as well, which will definitely warm your body and make you feel very cozy. And those around you will absolutely love the way you smell. This has a very radiant, addictive and uplifting feel to the fragrance. The dry down of Isola Blue is definitely filled with twists and turns, meaning you're going to be left off with a very green kind of a fragrance that's going to be definitely with that sea breeze note, but there is a fresh uh, green cut, you know, fresh cut grass kind of a feel to the fragrance. You do have cedar wood in the base as well, some oak moss in here, which is going to give you more you know, abundance and, and robustness of that green uh, tinge to the fragrance that I'm talking about. It's even, even though the, the fragrance is quite solar blue, it is more of a citrus aromatic green scent than anything else. There's definitely a woodier uh, vibe here as you get into the base, you know, the green cut, you know, fresh cut grass feel, which is very breezy, very, uh, very beautiful smelling, very uh, inspiring, if you will. The two things I love about this fragrance, which also makes it long lasting and very central, are going to be the ambergris along with the white musk. The white musk adds this very nice texture and feel to the fragrance, giving this almost like a second skin vibe that's gonna be very appealing, very sensual. It's gonna keep people coming back for more, including yourself. And then the ambergris adds that salty sea breeze, uh, marine kind of a feel to the scent. Not algae, but definitely, you know, like you're sitting by the, by the, you know, by the beach, you're having a cocktail in your hand and you have that beautiful sea breeze. You get that feel, that, that wind, that sea breeze that definitely makes you feel great. Puts a smile on your face is what this does. Now, if you have to compare Isola Blue with anything else in the market, what does this remind me of? Is there anything that this is similar to? So Isola Blue is its, it's, its own thing. It's its own fragrance. It's not really copying or trying to be, you know, what it's not. It's really doing its own thing, which is great. Very pleased with this fragrance and the scent itself. However, it's going to be in the same wheelhouse. I do get a very prominent uh, vetiver note here that I didn't talk about, which I get it from beginning to end. I, I guess it's my nose or my skin. You know, I, I think in some people this might turn a little bit more floral and fruity. Uh, on my skin, it definitely turned green, woody, and with that vetiver, bringing that fruity vetiver nuance that I love rather than the earthy and, and, and smoky vetiver that some fragrances can give you. But it's going to be in the same wheelhouse as fragrances from Terre d'Hermes, you know, from Terre d'Hermes collection, especially this one right here, Eau Givre, that I uh, reviewed for you guys, I believe, last year. If you guys didn't check out this review on the channel, I'm going to pop it up here so you guys can check out this for review. This is going to be a lot lighter though. Uh, reminds me of a sauna, you know, that eucalyptus kind of a vibe that you get in the sauna. It's definitely uh, more citrus heavy than Isola Blue. Isola Blue is definitely, this is more linear as well. It doesn't really develop much on skin. Whatever you get from beginning is what you're gonna get throughout the whole life of this fragrance. Again, check out the review. But Isola Blue is definitely a fragrance that has multi-layer, multi-facets, different nuances, different uh, textures. It is absolutely gorgeous for the summertime. Who do I envision wearing Isola Blue? Anybody, anybody that likes this kind of a fragrance profile with citrus aromatic, vetiver, uh, fruity nuances will love this fragrance. This is gender free. Anybody can rock it, but I think this is more suited for day wear. However, you can pull this off at night wear, especially if you go into a function that is going to be, you know, in the spring and summertime and early fall, this is gonna be beautiful. But I think, you know, this is definitely a gorgeous fragrance for the summertime. This is where this is gonna shine the most. As far as age is perhaps a little bit more mature due to the, of course, the price point here, which is almost 500 bucks, and then the actual scent profile, I think anybody between, I think 25 and up will appreciate this fragrance. If you're too young and you like sweet kind of a fragrances, tons of tonkas, tons of vanillas, you're really not gonna like this. But if you have a seasoned nose and you like things that are more sophisticated, elegant, and you know, you know, you want something special for the summer season, guys, definitely look at this one. I think this is gonna deliver 
beautifully. And again, great vetiver from Tom Ford. I think all these fragrances in this, in this wheelhouse of fruity vetiver fragrances will be kind of like what this is, adding the champaka that I talked about and the other layers and notes that this has, which makes this a special and different scent from the ones that this is in the same wheelhouse of. Three words to summarize Isola Blue. This is elegant, this is bright, and this is playful. Uh, as far as projection, you know, longevity, you know, performance of this fragrance, I get between six to seven on skin. The first five to six are very powerful. Then you get this beautiful sillage, but it doesn't push very strong after six hours. It's gonna stay within your immediate surrounding, but people that do get close to you will definitely perceive your smell. And they're gonna love the way you smell. The sillage here is great. If you spray your clothes, you add another hour and a half to two hours of projection longevity to the fragrance, which I highly recommend you do, especially because this is not gonna stain your clothes. And it is a citrus scent. So I always recommend spraying your clothes when you're wearing citrus aromatic scents. It is just better for performance. Final thoughts on Roja Dove's Isola Blue. Very, very easy to talk about this one. I love it. I think anybody that loves citrus aromatic scents will love this fragrance. This is a citrus aromatic scent with power, with a backbone, with long lasting performance, which, which I love. And here's the deal. This has the potential of becoming one of the best releases of 2023 so far. Plus, I can see a lot of people reaching out for this one and this perhaps being one of the best summer releases of the year. And even for years to come, I can see this becoming uh, a lot of people's signature scent for warm weather and summer season, including this guy. This is a powerful beast for the summer, for the warm season. Love the fruitiness here. The vetiver here just had me a hello. And I guarantee if you have your nose similar to mine, you love these kind of fragrances that I mentioned here, you're going to absolutely love Russia Dove's Isola Blue. Definitely worth checking out. If anything, guys, check it out. Try it on skin, make sure you love it. Get a sample, get a decant. Do that at perfume.com, the partner of this channel. And then when you're ready to get a bottle, get a bottle. I know it's expensive. It can get very, uh, very expensive hobby, if you will, or trying to enhance your fragrance wardrobe. So I always say, don't blind buy. If you must, go ahead. If you trust my nose, if you trust, if you have a similar uh, taste to mine, you know, pull the trigger. But I always say, try it before you buy it. As always, thank you so much, guys, for hanging out. Let me know in the comments, have you tried Isola Blue? And if you have, what are your thoughts on this fragrance? By the way, this is a parfum concentration, so it is heavily concentrated. Very good performance here. Let me know in the comments if you have tried this. If you haven't tried, you know, does this sound something that you would like? Let me know in the comments as well. And as always, guys, thank you so much for your support. If you haven't already, leave a like, subscribe for more. And of course, I will see you guys very soon. Take care.